Every summer, the waters of Mossel Bay become inundated with schools of newborn hammerhead sharks. Combining highly sensitive visual olfactory and electroreceptive sensors with unmatched maneuverability, the strangely shaped hammerhead shark may be one of the ocean's most effective predators at locating and capturing prey. Above water, a team of fishermen are targeting some young hammerheads. You got a shark on? Uh, might be a hammerhead. It certainly fights like one. Yeah, hammer time. But they are not after meat or fins. They are in pursuit of the secret genetic code that makes up this unique shark's DNA. Stellenbosch University genetic student and shark nut, Gibbs Kuguru, is the project leader. I think what attracted me to shark science in the first place is my love for wildlife and being able to see such an amazing uh, species like the hammerhead was a real treat for me. And quite frankly, I don't think I could have gone any other way after getting to meet them firsthand. Today, Gibbs is heading seawards. His mission is to catch, genetically sample, and safely release some of the newborn hammerheads in Mossel Bay. Morning, Port Control. Permission to exit port. Genetics is actually a very powerful tool. With a little piece of tissue, I can look at genetic health, uh, some unique subspecies, bottlenecks, and how the different populations of the hammerheads interact. And to me, that's very exciting. So it's, there's a little bit of an urgency to go and get the sharks uh, now. These are one of, our last, one of our last trips. Within minutes, this season's final expedition takes a positive turn. There's a hammerhead right there. This newborn is the promise that Gibbs may be able to add a few additional samples to his data set before heading back to his university laboratory. This is a good sign, so good in fact, that Gibbs decides to lay anchor and prepare his fishing and sampling equipment. But to successfully collect his genetic samples, Gibbs must contend with the bay's ultimate predator, the white shark. Yeah, from time to time we do get a few great whites coming around our boat. Um, in general, we'll try to move away as quickly as possible because they'll end up munching our hammerheads. Gibbs uses traditional fishing techniques to sample sharks. He ensures minimal impact on them by using barbless circle hooks, thick line, and working to a strict five-minute time limit between hooking and releasing a shark. He's there, he's there, he's there. All right. The shark hooked, the team springs into action and they deploy the custom designed sling that will safely transfer the shark from the ocean to the operational platform. Okay, let's flip him. Let's flip him. All the way around. Lacking the customary wing shaped head, this is clearly a different species of shark. This is a bronze whaler. Basically, we collect other shark samples in order to fill our tissue bank so we can actually learn more about other species as well as the hammerheads. The clock is ticking. Gibbs quickly works through his checklist of data requirements anyway. This includes identifying this little shark as a baby boy due to the small claspers protruding from his pelvic fins. 
Then it's time for the shark's release back into the wide open ocean. You saw the shark swim off, uh, tagging it. So hopefully someone else picks it up somewhere else and then uh, we'll get the data from it. As the day progresses slowly, the crew settles in, waiting patiently for that telltale tug that will give away a hammerhead. You got a shark on? It is a hammerhead. Come this side, Carrie. Just gonna let him go a little bit. He's just swimming continuously under the boat. I just wanna let him get out here. Success! Finally, a newborn hammerhead is secured in the sling. A life-sustaining water hose is quickly inserted into the shark's mouth, allowing it to breathe whilst out of water. The shark is then fitted with a uniquely coded tag that could potentially stay attached for over 20 years. If recaptured, Gibbs will be able to determine the secret movements and the growth rate of this shark. Finally, Gibbs secures his vital genetic sample, a small clipping from the trailing edge of the shark's dorsal fin. With global populations of hammerheads in steep decline, Gibbs's research into their hidden genetic world will ultimately offer them a much needed lifeline. The knowledge generated will give managers and conservationists the essential tools needed to conserve these wonderfully unique sharks in South Africa's coastal waters. <laughs>